Hi everybody, I'm Renee. Welcome back to NOLA Curve. So, we are one week post-op VSG surgery today. Um, exactly one week ago today, January 8th, 2020, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery, uh, which is weight loss surgery. So, <clears throat> let me start right off with my stats and get those out of the way. Uh, I am 50 years old. Uh, my height is 5 feet 9. My highest weight uh, was 300 pounds exactly. Uh, my weight um, on the day of surgery was 279.2. Uh, and my current weight is 275.4. Uh, so I've lost 3.8 pounds since surgery and I have lost a total of 24.6 pounds uh, from my highest weight. Right after surgery, uh, I did gain a little bit of weight. Um, so I was in the hospital for two days. Well, not two days, like a day and a half. Um, so I had surgery on Wednesday and I came home on Thursday afternoon. And um, I weighed myself when I got home and I weighed 286.6, which I think is probably just like, you know, surgery weight, what, you know, the stuff that they do to you, the, the gas that they have to put into your stomach to move everything around. Um, and then, you know, they're constantly giving you fluids while you're in the hospital. Um, so I think that that's why I had that gain right after surgery. Um, and every day it has gone down by about oh, two pounds or so. Um, and I'm, I'm good with this 3.8 pounds, you know, from my surgery weight. Uh, it, it just seems like every day that scale is lower and, and I'm, I'm really happy with that. So I wanted to, got, to show you guys my incisions. I feel like they're doing really well. So I'm going to pause right here and reposition the camera so I can show you guys what my incisions look like. So I have four incisions. Um, there's this one right here uh, that's doing really well. I had a little bit of bruising right there. And then I have, oh, let me push this up under there. And then I have oh, these two here. And then there's one in my belly button. It's literally in my belly button, um, so you can't see it, but it's doing really well. Um, I have some, some bruising right here, um, and the doctor said that that's um, from um, the blood thinners and stuff that they gave me. You know, I guess, I guess that's what that's from. But they're doing really well, and they're really small. I mean, they're only like maybe like a quarter inch. Uh, maybe a third of an inch uh, and the one in the belly button is a bit bigger it kind of goes the whole span of the belly button um, this is the one that hurts the most um, it hurt the most right after surgery and even today a week later it kind of still stings just a little bit but it doesn't hurt here in the belly button it hurts like right here this little spot I'm, I don't even know why but it doesn't hurt on the outside it hurts on the inside so I don't know what's going on with that but it's not anything um, you know that's stopping me from you know moving or doing anything like that uh, so that's those are my incisions they look pretty good I think uh, this stupid tape you know that residue from the tape that you just it takes forever and I don't want to scrub it because I don't want to you know risk scrubbing the incision because it's right on it so uh, that'll eventually I guess come off you know as I continue to bathe but that's that so I'm gonna go back to my other video and other position so we can get back to talking okay I'm back um pain so I didn't have a whole lot of pain uh, on the day after of surgery. Uh, it, I guess, you know, I was just kind of looped up and uh, so I didn't really have a whole lot. My mother came to the hospital um, and our best friends came to the hospital, uh, but I don't remember any of that com the conversations with them. On Thursday, I was a lot more lucid uh, and aware of what was going on around me. So uh, I was able to do a lot more, did a lot more walking. The pain wasn't anything really bad. Uh, I did really well with my water. I'm still doing really well with my water. 
even though I did have some a couple of days there where it hurt to drink water and it hurt like like right right here right here at the middle of the breastbone uh, and I think that was just gas uh, you know trapped in there and that has gotten steadily better I've also learned how to kind of take a smaller sip um, and if I do find that I take a larger sip then I just kind of split it up and I don't swallow it all at once <laughs> I guess you learn those things um, as far as pain after coming home I um, it was hard to sit down um, in the recliner and get up from the recliner um, and it was difficult to sit down in a chair and not and be able to lean forward uh, I couldn't it hurt to lean forward so I was having to you know always sit back like this um, to help with that um, sleeping in my bed I, I wasn't able to sleep in my bed I tried the first night I was home um, and I think I managed maybe about an hour or two um, in my own bed but it was painful to lay flat on my back um, and I'm a side sleeper, so I couldn't even sleep on my side. So I ended up sleeping in the recliner for the first couple of days. Um, I finally spent the whole night in my own bed. Oh, uh, what? Um, Monday night. I spent the whole night in my own bed. Um, and I've been good since then. Uh, not a whole lot of pain. Hunger. I had zero hunger. The day I got out of sir, out of the hospital, zero. It was such a strange feeling to not feel any hunger at all. You know, like my husband was hungry, and he had made a comment that you know he he hadn't eaten you know since breakfast that day, and he so he wanted to stop and and pick himself something up to eat on the way home from the hospital and. I was fine. It didn't even affect me at all that he was eating because um, I had zero hunger. And it's such a strange feeling to not feel any hunger after not eating for five days. Um, I didn't even really feel hunger until yesterday. <clears throat> um, and I, But I don't know if that was from boredom. Um, yesterday was the first day that I was home by myself. My husband had taken, you know, all these days off of work to be home with me, and he finally went back to work yesterday. And so I was just kind of going around the house, like oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, my my old routine would have been, oh, let's eat when we're bored. Um, so. <laughs> I think that that was part of my my old mentality, you know, telling me that you're bored, so you need to eat. I made some broth uh, to try to curb that feeling and sat there and drank it. And I did some of my crafts, um, some uh, finished up a a doily, a crochet doily that I had been working on. So I kind of helped take my mind off of feeling hungry even though I probably wasn't hungry at all. Uh, emotionally, uh, it's been okay. We had a, a, a very rough couple of days there uh, after surgery. On the Tuesday before surgery, one of our dogs uh, took sick. And and it, when it really wasn't really sick, it was just he's old. Um, Mo was 15 years old, and he'd been having a lot of problems with his hips, um, and been had been needing help getting up from the wood floors uh, for probably about I don't know two or three months now. Um, and on Tuesday morning he couldn't get up at all. Uh, he couldn't hold his weight up and so we brought him to the vet Tuesday morning and we left him there uh, for a couple of days. She gave him some heavy doses of prednisone and some anxiety medicine to try to get him to see if you know that would help um, with his mobility. Um, we picked him up on Thursday, the day that I got out of the hospital, brought him home, um, and he didn't get any better. 
And so we ended up having to put him down on Saturday. So Saturday was a very, very rough day for us. Uh, and it's still kind of hard to deal with. Uh, you know, part of our family is gone. So <clears throat> it's been an emotional kind of roller coaster dealing with that. And then on top of, you know, being in pain um, a little bit, uh, it was just hard. My diet, I still have one more week of um, fluids and then I can start my pureed stage. I'm doing really well. I'm having, you know, my enough water. I uh, have my, this little blender cup here. Uh, this has, um, currently, I'm trying to finish up a, a protein coffee drink. So all I did was just mix a protein, co uh, a premier protein vanilla with coffee. And this is kind of how I like to do this now after surgery. I did try like a, premier protein on its own and I found that it was it was it was super sweet and it, it hadn't been like super sweet before so um, I'm now cutting it with the coffee which is helping to get my protein in and then I have my big jug of water that I sip on all day long uh, yesterday I finished the whole thing plus half so I did really really good yesterday with my water um, what else I have a you know, my handy dandy list here. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to go a little TMI. Um, poop. Yeah, poop is an issue that I, a lot of us have. Uh, I did not have a bowel movement on Monday before surgery, on Tuesday or Wednesday. So I went almost a whole week without having a bowel movement. And so by... Oh, uh, Saturday, I was like, okay, I really need to go poop because I knew I had that feeling. I knew I needed to go poop and I couldn't go poop. It just wouldn't come. But I felt really full and I knew I needed to go. So the doctor had told me before uh, when, I, when they discharged me that I could take milk of magnesia to go. And so I did. I took a half a dosage of milk of magnesia, which was super disgusting. Um, and... Uh, it took a couple of hours for it to work and then once it worked it was like sudden like I was standing at the kitchen table doing something uh, and all of a sudden I'm like oh uh, gotta go <laughs> and I went and it was just diarrhea all diarrhea and it, I had three more episodes like that uh, where you know it was oh gotta go um, but once that was done, it was done. I, I didn't have any more problems after that. Uh, I had a bowel movement on Monday. I did not have one yesterday, and I had one today. So I think I'm doing pretty good as far as all of that goes. Um, I had a post-op appointment with my doctor on Monday. Uh, he looked at my incisions. He said everything is fine. Uh, everything's going really well. Uh, I did well with surgery. Uh, so uh, he released me to go back to work on Friday. Uh, I go back to see him on February 10th. The surgery wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. So if you're scared about surgery, like I was, I was super nervous before. They made us wait like almost an hour in the waiting room uh, before they took us into the back and I was freaking out. I, <laughs> I was shaking my legs. I was rocking back and forth. I was super nervous. And once we got back there, all that nervousness just kind of went away and you know, the ball was rolling and I was fine. Uh, the strangest thing though, cause uh, you know, once they, they hook you all up, and you're sitting there waiting for them it's um to come and get you and they finally came to get me to actually wheel me into the host into the surgical room and uh they must have given me something in my iv when i was on my way to the surgery room i remember the anesthesiologist opening the door to the surgical room that's the last thing i remember Nothing else after that. I don't remember, don't have a clue what the surgical room looks like. It's just like, 
I see him opening the door and me go and you know see me going through the doors but nothing after that it's so strange and then the next thing I know I wake up in my room uh, and you know they're trying to get me to blow on that uh, I don't know even know what you call it that thing you have to suck in and get the little ball to go up uh, I remember them telling me I needed to blow in that and kind of yelling at me because I wasn't like doing it and uh, I remember my husband telling me you gotta blow into it no you gotta suck on it and <laughs> it was funny but that's it uh, I'm ready to go back to work uh, yesterday was really really rough uh, I was so bored uh, and I'm just ready to go back to work because us being home kind of sucks you know <laughs> I, I guess uh, uh, you hate being at work, but then, you know, once you're home for so long, you're like, oh, I'm ready to go back to work. I need to do something. That's kind of me. I need to be doing something. So, I am ready to go back to work. The quote of the week is, start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. Uh, Francis of Assisi. I did what was necessary. Um, I am doing what's possible. And I will do what I thought was impossible before. And that was be healthy. Uh, if you are at a position, at a, you know, a time in your, your life or your process, if you're considering having VSG surgery and you're hesitating, you know, this may be what you need to do. So it may be necessary for you to go to this step. Um, it might not. Each of us are, are different in, in how we do things. I felt like this was necessary. Finally felt like this was necessary. So I did it and I feel good about it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So anyways, uh, I hope everybody has a really great day. I'm going to go into my craft room here and uh, maybe pick up something to sew. See what's going on there. Y'all have a great day and thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to continue to watch the rest of my journey, go ahead and subscribe and comment and tell me where you are in yours. Thanks. Y'all have a great day. Bye.